Um, I would advise when you're going for gear, you'll see that gear will give you firearms, stamina, and electronics there at the top. Don't really so much worry about stamina, because as your armor improves, even mid to high level guys have a little tougher time killing you. Use your surroundings, and shooting you doesn't happen as much. I would say focus primarily on firearms, with a secondary focus on the electronics, because that affects the skills and cooldowns of your skills and powers and stuff. Like here, you can see that the base damage for this little bomb is 1090. Because of my skill power of 2710, it almost doubles that to 2004. It reduces the cooldown by like 4 seconds, which 4 seconds uh, RPG is kind of meh. But again, this isn't nearly as high as my firearm skill that gives me like an extra 500 to 100 damage like my gun does. What? But again, there's me all dark, so I couldn't see my guns or gear if I wanted to. Again, it it hurts, but you can understand that not every place is going to be, and their character customization area was probably not their first, the, the first thing they were focusing on. So, each of you will find something you like or don't like about it. Like for me, the griefing and the clothing system, which there there are a lot of different options for clothing. I'm still waiting for a long coat, like a duster or a trench coat or something like that. I haven't found one yet, doesn't mean it's not there, I just haven't found it yet. Um, random people will meet you in the street and give you clothing if you give them stuff. Uh, bad guys will drop clothing all the time, so there there are things you can find and buy. There is no clothing vendor, which makes me a little sad. But again, that's part of the clothing system. They want you to just be walking around and pick up like 50 coats. I would have liked a place where I can get rid of coats. Like I have one that's this really bright neon purple. Thank you. I'm never gonna wear it. Oh, you're welcome, lady. You you are. Me and my guns and armor and cool. Um, but I would have liked a place, nice save you. like you see over here, there's people in line waiting for supplies, and their food rations, and coffee rations, and all that jazz. <coughs> I would love for there to be like a little kiosk right here, where I can donate clothing for either money, or weapon parts, or materials for food, or parts for like the medical wing, or my security wing, or my tech wing. See what you've been missing. Instead, I'm stuck with, like, having to navigate all the way over here. No, let's look at the jackets, because I've got crap out of those. And, like, supposedly there will be a trading system coming, but I can't wear all these coats. And I like the coats that look like they're meant for military stuff, because they've got all the pockets and they're... I like my white jacket. Because I like to think if this was real, it's always snowing outside. I want my character to blend. I've got the white hat. I've got the white coat. There are no white pants, else I'd be wearing those. Uh, this coat I got off of a bad guy, and you can see it's kind of dirty there on the bottom and the sleeves, as if I had just picked it off up off of a dirty street. So, I, I really like their attention to detail. They did it right. Graphically, it's it's a beautiful game. You need to give it a look, see? <clears throat> Not constantly worrying about like, there are a few things thing. in this game that I would tweak. But unlike Destiny, they're not such major things that I'm going to, like, hate my life if... Or just hate the game at times because it's there. Uh, there is no one OP weapon. Uh, if you go into the PvP area in the dark zone, again, I fought a couple, like, that team of three kept going in to hunt people down. I got tired of it, so me and one other guy hunted them down. Again, it debate, it depended. There is no player radar in the dark zone, so you don't know where other players are, unless they've gone rogue. 
if you are a player killer, you show up on everybody's radar, so everybody can get the drop on you. It's like, you killed a guy, we're all going to kill you now. Um, there is matchmaking. I would prefer if it would let you party up with people from inside the game, but I haven't been able to find that out yet, so... Like, I've tried with a couple of randoms, and either they didn't have mics, didn't accept my invite, or... But, like, in-game, you can't request them. You have to go to here, find recent players... I got messages, probably from the wife. Um, so, she's probably gonna nag me that this review's going too long. Uh, but other than that, this game is really good. It's really fun. There's a weapon loadout for every kind of person. Like, you can equip a double-barrel shotgun sawed off as your secondary weapon. I don't, because if I'm in the emergency situation where I need to whip out my weakest gun, it only having two shots before I have to reload kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, if you're worried, there are guys in this game that like to charge you, so you could just switch to your double barrel and just pow. He's down, and then you can go back to work. But if two or three guys charge you, you're totally out of luck, because you ran out of ammo. Well, that is Lightbringer's Division Review. I hope you guys learned some things or didn't learn some things and you want to play the game to find them out. If there's anything you want to see or learn about the game, please send me a message, uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz. But for the most part, enjoy your... I think it's Monday or Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. My phone died, so I haven't checked yet. I think it's Tuesday. Um, enjoy the rest of your work week. Be safe out there. I know some some places are starting to do their spring break, so definitely be safe on the roads because people are stupid. Uh, other than that, peace out, guys, and lights out.